All right, so I've been wanting this thing for quite a few years. Uh, I don't really know why. Uh, I just think it's cool. It's probably the machinist in me that uh, just, I don't know, just always wanted one. Uh, this is the NAA or North American Arms 22 Long Rifle Mini Revolver. And it originally didn't come with the, the holster grip. It, it came with uh, these aluminum grips. And it's cool with the, I think this notch is actually for the, uh, the belt buckle. So you can just, uh, they do have a belt buckle that you can wear this as like the centerpiece of it. So that's probably what the notch is for to, to clip it in. But <coughs> it is really small with those grips. And I wanted something, I don't know, it's, it's a fun gun and actually just something like if I'm wearing my mesh shorts and I'm doing yard work or mowing the lawn, maybe I'll throw it in once in a while just to have something on me that's, uh, that I really can't tell because uh, this thing is 4.6 ounces uh, in the weight department and uh, this is the 1.13 uh, inch barrel or 1 and an eighth inch barrel. It is uh, five shots. The, the height on the thing is, is only 2.38 inches. And uh, with his 0.88, uh, it is single action. But you're you're getting the five shots and 22 long rifle. I mean, not getting into a caliber war or anything. You know, no one wants to get shot with anything. But if it's it's kind of the better than nothing department. And with the the holster grip, uh, I think it was like 20 24 bucks. I got this thing used did buy this separate and it's pretty easy to put on it's nice it's got the little clip and in your pocket it it really looks like nothing you know you'll see that come out of your pocket and uh, drawing it's really easy I just uh, I put it on this side because it'll keep it in my right pocket and when I'm drawing it I can actually when I'm drawing I can pull on it and this will get stuck in the pocket and it'll open up uh, into my hand like that so all you have to do is just cock it and surprisingly he's got a really nice trigger on it uh, very very nice uh, it's pretty heavy draw to, to cock it but I'll try to it's very short I mean there's like no travel and it breaks I don't want to you know I don't want to let the hammer down all the way on the cylinder, but yeah, it's uh, it's surprisingly really clean, uh, really nice trigger. It is heavy though; it's probably about five or six, seven pounds up there. Uh, surprise for this little thing, but it does have some some good wear on it. Someone else had the the holster grip <clears throat> on before me. Yeah, I got this for. I got 135 bucks. New, uh, I think I see them around 240 to 300, depending on the model. You can get some cheaper ones for, I think, a little less. But uh, really well made, really great machining. Uh, really surprised. <laughs> yeah, just a cool little gun. Uh, I haven't shot it yet. I'm gonna take this on my little trip coming up uh, in less than a week. So I'll have video, I mean, I'll have all sorts of video soon. But uh, the cool thing is, I mean, you know, like regular old revolvers, the hammer's usually laying on, a, on one of the uh, rounds. And if this gets hit, you know, the round's going to go off. But on this, they do have these little notches in here. So what you do is you just barely cock it. Oh, actually, on this one I found, you actually... I hold the trigger and just a little tiny bit pull the hammer back and you can rest the the hammer in that notch so it's in between see the this, there's no cylinder aligning with the barrel it's right in between them so you are completely safe you can hammer on this and nothing will happen and then when you cock it it'll line up perfect uh, so you don't have to worry about messing around with it and what else do we got here? 
Uh, so yeah, it's got a half moon sight, and the sight picture is <laughs> there. It is. I mean, and you're not. You're basically just going to see the front sight. That's going to be the sight picture. <clears throat> uh, it's probably not going to be the most accurate, but you know, it is what it is. And once you're done with those five rounds, the way to reload it is pushing this little button in. There's a detent. And just popping the cylinder out. And these are, the rounds are most likely going to be stuck in there. So just use this to pop them out. Reload manually. And this thing is sometimes a little tricky to get in. There you go, you're loaded back up. So it's not going to be the easiest reloads or the quickest. So basically five rounds and dump it. I mean, if you really needed to get into a fight with this thing. And it should probably be up close and personal in the belly. Or, you know, maybe a show of force. Because, uh, I mean, this thing, from what everything I hear, is uh, this, these things are loud as hell. So... The bark is probably definitely biter, uh, heavier than the bite. But if you point a gun at someone, I don't think that they're going to really argue too much with you unless they're a psycho. And then, uh, you know, shoot them in the face a few times, you know, if you're close enough. But the, this, yeah, basically it is what it is. And I'm sure it's an up-close-and-personal gun. For defense, I, I wouldn't use the 22 long rifle for my daily carry. Uh, I had enough trouble switching back to 9mm for my daily carries. and But something in the yard for me. Uh, you know, something that's not going to get in the way. At least I have something. It's more of a peace of mind, I guess. But uh, it is a cool little gun. And with this holster grip, it really makes a difference. I mean, you know, you get a full-size grip. I got all three fingers on this thing. So it's it's going to be a cool, uh, cool gun to play with, and really smooth. I just was not uh, not expecting it, but holster covers the trigger, everything. You can still cock it uh, while well, you know the holster is on, but there are little plastic detents on both sides. You just pinch them together it'll fold right back but cool little accessory for it uh, I'll probably go back and forth between these but if I'm gonna keep this in my pocket this is definitely the way to go uh, nice compact little package so I know there's guys out that love these things they have a huge huge cult following and people collect all sorts of these guns yeah, I just wanted the smallest, well, the second smallest example of it for the collection. Uh, the 22 short is smaller. <clears throat> but I have long rifles. I don't have any short guns. So to keep with uh, not having to go to another caliber, since I, I think I have 20 right now, uh, I got the long rifle. Don't have to worry about it. I got plenty of them. So uh, just... Uh, let me know what you guys think. I know they got the new Sidewinder coming out, uh, or actually came out, that is going to be a lot easier to reload because it swings open like a normal revolver. And, uh, you know, I just want something small, though. So I probably, this will probably be my only one, unless I get the 22 Magnum Pug just for fun, too. Or maybe just a little upgrade for my pocket for, from this thing. But, uh,. And you guys out there that collect these, I'd, I'd like to know, uh, you know, what you got or, or how you like them. So let me know. Thanks.